Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing the power of full AP Predator Cho'Gath Jungle. You'll be super fast with this build and do absurd burst damage. Currently, Cho'Gath plays a lot better as a jungler than he does in other roles as a top laner. He gets bullied and beat down by the majority of matchups, whether they be melee or ranged. It's just a big struggle fest for him right now. So, Cho'Gath top, kind of poo-poo. Cho'Gath mid can be super hit or miss. So the only role left to carry with him in is really the jungle. For your runes, you want Predator, Cheap Shot with Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter, Transcendence, and Water Walking. For your secondary runes, you can go for uh, Triumph and uh, Tenacity. And the Precision Tree, Sorcery is a very good option though. Highly, highly recommend it. Start E, Auto Attack, E Reset. And then you're usually going to be looking to gank around your level three if you don't want a full clear. I feel like we ha will have some decent gank options since uh, their lanes are easy to gank. More no mobility, Vex very low mobility. So we should be able to gank that. I do highly recommend you take exhaust on Cho'Gath jungle. If you don't have exhaust, you'll get sold by the enemy jungler a lot. Plus exhaust makes ganking a lot easier. And you might be saying, well, why not just take flash in that case? To help with the ganks exhaust is on a lower cooldown and uh, the amount of distance that exhaust allows you to gain over them is higher if they flash away and they're exhausted you can still catch up and you still get all the benefits of them doing having much less damage output so exhaust for Cho'Gath jungle is a massive plus or you could even go ghost ghost or exhaust are both good but like i said exhaust helps a lot more for the solos we're gonna hit the whole camp with our w Auto attack, E reset, we'll get around to the other side. Cho'Gath has very healthy easy clears, as long as you're using your abilities when they're up. It's really that simple. Uh, you should be pretty close to full HP. Off of this passive, every single time you kill something, you'll be getting a bunch of health and mana back. His Q is a knock up, his W is a silence. You don't want to max his Q first, though you might be tempted to, because per level it only gets damage. Your W gets cooldown reduction and silenced uh, increased duration per level so maxing your w second is actually way better than maxing your q second we're going to push out for scuttle here after our five camp so we can take it pretty quick we'll go ahead and smite to start with auto attack e reset easy pickup rengar has uh his passive fully stacked so he's looking to fight me there i'm not interested in that though i'll just go for opposite side scuttle bot lane won the fight so this bot scuttle is free top lane's not gankable mid lane's not gankable right now rengar is looking to fight this i'm going to hit him with a q auto attack e reset w huge luck snare and down goes rengar auto attack e w down goes vex Cho'Gath's pretty good for two versus two since he has great CC options. As long as you do land them, these 2v2s are very scary. Set up that way for Lux so she can shove it in and I'll go grab Scuttle real quick. I don't think their bot lane is going to be able to rotate since my bot lane has Pryo. We've got to be quick about this. We'll knock it up to take off its shield. And uh, auto attack E reset, W. And we don't necessarily even have to back right now. I'm... Oh, wow. Rengar's right here. I'm going to ping that out for the Lux. Rengar came for that scuttle. Not surprisingly, we'll grab boots and go straight into our Everfrost. We'll go double amp tome and look top lane for gank. We have our Krugs that are up. Our wolves just spawned. Our Raptors will be spawned in about 15, 20 seconds from now. So about the five minute mark. And then we can, so we can gank top full clear. You always want to try to set up your ganks to where you're clearing into them. Or at the very least, if you do gank, you have camps to clear linearly. That way you're not falling behind. If you're just randomly moving around the map in a, in a highly randomized fashion, you'll be falling behind in XP and a lot of gold. I don't see the ward here. I'll push it out, see if I can find a ward. It is warded. Auto attack E. Kind of annoying that he had that word ready. Vex is pretty low. We could probably do something there. Always go for the Emax first on Cho Jungle. You need the consistent damage output. We're gonna predator into her. Try to walk with her there. Got max range Q down. She's dead. I wish Silence could cancel the blast cone popping them back. That would be really nice. I'll go ahead and drop my word right here. I have my smite up, so I feel pretty comfortable. 
Rengar tries to fight me, he should lose. I have item advantage and level advantage. Poor guy, just lost his Gromp. Mordekaiser's very low. He's about to hit six though, so I'll go back into clearing. Whenever your predator's up, keep an eye on it. Right here, we have 40 more seconds. Once that is back up, we'll look for a gank. Until then, we'll try to get as much XP as we can, and we're gonna try to hit level six before the seven minute 30 mark. Cho'Gath's level six is a massive power spike for him. That's why you wanna go for ultimate hunter instead of ingenious hunter on Cho'Gath jungle. If you go for ingenious hunter, yes, your predator will be up a little bit more often. However, without your R, you miss out on so much in terms of scaling and actual damage output. The R is the best part of his kit. You don't oftentimes need to use your W on your monster camps. Once you have three or four points in your E, your W doesn't really speed up the clear and you just end up putting it on a cooldown. So if you have to fight somebody, it's very unfortunate. Rengar's level five, Vex is level five. I think I could fight Rengar here. I think he's cutting through this area. All right, never mind. Oh, this is warded. My goodness. Auto attack E reset. I knew we were here the whole time. Flux lands a raw snare. I can follow it up with a Q. Otherwise, I'll just go for Rengar on his red buff. I have level advantage, so I should win the fight. We can also R it to do a thousand damage, so we can easily outsmite him. Rengar must have reset, or his walls must have been up or something, because he's just not over here. Auto attack W. I actually missed my W, that kind of sucks. Auto attack E. All right, we got his flash and all we did was burn our exhaust. Exhaust is a minute and a half shorter cooldown than flash. So that was actually a really good trade for us. We probably should have saved our R just to R the Rengar. I was kind of fearing he wasn't going to show up is the thing. So I didn't want to just sit there and... Oh wow, I can't believe he actually just did that. That was incredible. I really wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna predator in. I wanna hit her with a slow, then knock her up. Brand's not really following up at all here. I guess he's more focused on getting the scuttle crab. Oh well. Predator's on cooldown, R's about to be up. We didn't lose too much out of that failed gank. I don't wanna start dragon. Already missing a huge chunk of HP. We're gonna pull these together. We can take them with our AoE. All th three of our non-ultimate abilities are AoE damage. Go ahead and R that. You can R non-epic uh, monsters up to uh, non-epic monsters and minions up to six times. We've only used it twice on them, so we can use it four more times before we have to start focusing it on champions. You can, uh, as long as your R last hits a champion, you can build ultimate HP stacks infinitely or epic monsters like dragons or barons or heralds. We'll be looking for that on the next one. Initially, it's just more important to get those stacks in general. So you don't want to hold on to your R, do a full clear, then look for a gank type situation because your R is going to be up shortly anyway. So you might as well kind of get it on cooldown and get those stacks working for you. Mordekaiser's fairly low on health. He has double armor. We should be able to solo kill him. Even though he has Conqueror and we're Predator. Conqueror and Lethal Temple are much better for fights to the death than things like Predator or Phase Rush. We'll walk up. Hit him with an auto attack E reset. Got him with the silence. And we probably should have just R'd him there. Our R had come up right as I was finishing him off. So far, all three of our R's have been on minions and monsters like i said it doesn't matter too much because once you're in team fights pretty much every r you're using is going to be to kill a champion it's just more Ooh, hey rengar we're going to slow him then look for the q knock up that way it's harder for him to dodge it and ideally you do want to silence them before you go for the uh, q so in a perfect world you're going to e them then w then q that way even if they have flash they're screwed Predator's up in 25 seconds. Probably be looking to gank the Vex. I don't trust my bot lane. So I'm 
sometimes you just get that feeling that someone's not going to follow up on a gank. Ward's going to get back to lane and his R is going to be up, so I don't think we can really gank him at the moment. Got another point in our E. I don't see anything over here. All right, wolves are up. Lux is getting to pick on these guys. I'm going to Predator in and... Oh, wow, that Senna actually just wrecked us there. I'm a little surprised Senna was there for that. <laughs> she just randomly roamed out of the bot lane. They might try to do a dragon. I think I can stop it though. Wait, how did Rengar get back all of his HP? I have to leave. Senna Q slows. I can't fight them one versus two. My teammates are finally coming over here. Got the knockup. She's exhausted. Got the R. Down she goes. Love having exhaust. We should definitely look to recall here. We'll take wolves real quick. Auto attack E reset into Q. Auto attack W. Your E is a very clean auto attack resetter. Your Q and your W are basically auto attack resetters. They're just not nearly as uh, clean in terms of the animation or the timings of it. It's a bit slower. Almost like a Garen Q auto attack resetter. <laughs> Garen's Q is one of the worst auto resetters in the game in terms of actual speed. Zaya's still pushing. My Predator's up. I don't know if I have the items to do this. If she doesn't have like anything, we can do this. Auto attack E reset, W, blue smite, and she's a goner. The only reason why I queued before I had her slowed, because I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, hey, why'd you do that? That was risky. She was running out of minions underneath the turret. She only had one minion left. So even if she juked it, she would have taken a turret shot for juking it. So if she tried to run, she would get hit by it and get wrecked like she did. Or if she didn't run, she was going to eat the turret. So either way, it put her in a bad spot. Got Everfrost, secondary item. Usually looking to grab tier two boots. Their team is double AP, triple AD. I'll get plated. Well, I don't have any tenacity. I'll get Merc Treads and then I'll go for Hourglass. Hourglass is a super good item on Cho'Gath. Lots of awesome stats on it. Very, very useful stats. The AP, everything in it is really, really good for him. The AP, the armor, ability haste, and the active. Can tank a lot more with it. I think Rengar's in my jungle right now. Gonna get my items situated to fight him. R's up. I wanna kill this uh, Mord. Since we're behind him, we're gonna go ahead and Predator. We have the behind angle. We're gonna walk up. E, W, Q, R. We also could have used our Everfrost. That would've made things a lot easier. <laughs> e. E, uh, Everfrost, WQR would be really good. Everfrost makes it super easy to land Q because the slow is so big. She's faster than I am on that scuttle speed up. I can fight them though, I have item advantage. They may or may not expect me here, I guess we'll find out. Everfrost, auto attack E reset W. Oh, you got so much extra healing off that. Down goes Rengar. Mord's going to be stepping up shortly. I would like to get an R stack off of a, a monster. Because if he doesn't show up, then we'll just be holding on to it for nothing. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Every time I do that, they end up actually coming. Incredible. Auto attack W. Got him with the Everfrost. But then he R'd Mord. I'm going to stay nearby to try to help the... I mean, he are the Darius. I'm going to stay nearby to try to help him. Got the knockup. Going to go ahead and exhaust him. Barely saved him. She flashed my knockup and I die. Holy crap. Senna's doing some crazy damage. 
I put out a uh, buff Senna video where I played her top lane. She's actually super, super strong as a top lane and a support right now. Her Q is, ha they added a 20% scaling slow to her Q. It starts out at 20% and it gets higher per her AD and AP that she has. She's really hard to get away from now. Plus Divine Sunder. Uh, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure. I thought Divine Sunder was supposed to give you some uh, movement speed to it. I wasn't seeing it there. Let me check. So obviously additional damage. Yeah, I'm not seeing the additional movement speed. I guess that's uh, that must be the other one. That no one builds anymore. Forget, I even forget what it's called. Like literally like, no one builds it. Because they just gutted it so hard. Mm. Yeah, it's this one. It's Stride Breaker gives movement speed when you're dealing physical damage against an opponent. Makes it really hard to get away from someone like a Garen or a Darius. Predator into her. Try to hit her with the Everfrost. We actually missed the uh, Everfrost there. I'm gonna go ahead and Hourglass. Got my Silence down on the Mord. Senna's in a tough spot there. Knock up into Silence. And at this point, the game is basically over. Once AP Cho'Gath is level six, he hasn't fallen behind. The game just gets so ugly for the enemy team. Yep. We have an AoE, uh, Two second silence and an AoE knockup. Huge, huge, huge. Plus the Everfrost, that's an AoE root. That alone is better than most champion abilities. Just the active, not even the stats on it. Everfrost is such a good item that even if it didn't have stats, a lot of champions would still build it because of the root, such as Vigar. Vigar benefits greatly from having that root. You can also use it against your monster camps. The cooldown is just long enough at 30 seconds to where you don't want to, though, unless you're back, about to recall. Our Predator's up. We could look for something. There's nothing to really get. From what I'm seeing, they're too bot, and Zai's playing safe under turret mid lane. We can grab that top lane wave. That'll be juicy. All we need to do at this point in the game is farm and gank. Farm and gank. If our teammates are trying to make a play, then I need to be there. Otherwise, they're going to die and throw a little bit. So, for, for example, right now, Brandon, who, who is this? Brandon and Lux are kind of throwing right now. The rest of the team isn't there. If I was there, though, we might have won that. All right, let's go back to what, what were we building next? I think we should go for Force of Nature, actually. Well, I'll go Dead Man's. Even though we are AP Cho'Gath, we can still build some tank movement speed items. I think Dead Man's Force of Nature and probably uh, Rabadon would be super, super, super strong. Rabadon to round off our build. Or even a uh, Cosmic Drive for the extra movement speed. Cho'Gath needs movement speed. Very useful stat on him. Got him. Where are you going, Zaya? Stop speeding up against me. She's slowed, she can't dodge the Q, and down she goes. That is AP Choke. <laughs> She's a full item, and Senna's a full item and a half. It got destroyed. I'm only two full items and a half. Collectively, they had uh, about as much as me, not including their levels and other such things. Only person who could solo me is maybe Mordekaiser, because his conquer and self healing is super, super high. There's no one else who can. If my R's up, I might be able to take him. I guess he doesn't want to fight it. He doesn't want to find out. It will forever be a mystery. I'm not going to chase him underneath turret. His teammates are going to show up and get me. Predator's almost up. I can chase down this Rengar if he keeps pushing over here. Down he goes. I'm going to hold on to my blue smite. Hey, she's not trying to take this, is she? Dude, what's with my teammates and trying to take my monster camps this game? 
On both scuttle crabs, this botling's been super aggro. He's gonna have to R somebody. Silence into E, Q, Everfrost, R. That's another permanent stack. Our R is now giving us a bonus 1,320 health. We're sitting at 3,400 HP. Darius is at 2,000 HP. We have over 30% more HP than him. About, uh, what is that, like 35% more HP? Or 30, 39% more? Something like that. I almost got her with the Everfrost. Her range is a bit too long. I can hourglass this Rengar and gauge if I need to. I don't think he has the items to kill me. Gotta stand up here though and get ready to silence and Q. Rengar gets solo kill on the Lux. My R is back up. I can look to fight him. He has no HP items and no magic resist items. Yeah, he's gonna die here. Jeez, this sun is so annoying. Where is Rengar, dude? Oh, he's still going. I just wasted my Predator. I got like almost nothing out of it. Yeah, oh, I can press R. But I'm gonna die. Senna's doing so much freaking damage, bro. Rengar did 1300, Senna did 900. That means I was already missing a lot of health when I went for that, though. That doesn't add up to my full HP bar. Jeez, Santa hurts. <laughs> She's so tanky, too. She's got 1,800 health. Zaya only has 1,300. Dinx has 15. Darius, 2,000. So Senna almost has as much HP as my Darius. Neat. Now that we have Dead Mans, we're going to be even faster. You know, we could go uh, for... What's it called? What's that tier item? Winner's Approach is really freaking strong. So much extra tankiness. I think we'll skip Robidon and just go Force of Nature into Fimble Winter. Or we could get the tier now, then go for uh, Fimble Winter into Force of Nature. Because they have double magic damage on their team with the Vex Mord and then their triple AD. So we could probably get away with not getting Force of Nature for now because I already have the uh, magic resist from Merc Treads. Which is going to help out a lot. Versus Sork Shoes. My R is already maxed out against non-epic monsters, non-champions, so we don't really want to waste it on. Waste it to clear our camps at the moment. Once we get level 16, our R will be giving us even more HP per stack. Our HP will probably be closer to 5,000 once we hit level 16. Get that third point in our R. Predator is almost in range. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Oh, I got feared. Jeez, these guys are doing so much damage to me. Got him. That's why you take exhaust, baby. <laughs> Rengar attacked me with uh, relatively equal items. Two and a half full items when I'm three and a half full items. I was almost dead. He lost because it's my exhaust. Freaking hilarious. Just bouncing around so much, I didn't even bother using my Q there. Just E's, W, and R. Get all that HP we're getting back. Delicious. Darius looking to stop recalls. He didn't quite get in there. We're not going to waste our W against the monsters. Just hold on to it. Our E's are good enough to do so. I think someone's going to step over here. Yeah, Vex. I wish I was in the bush. I kind of felt her coming, too. That was my bad. Well, she does have Crown of the Shadowed Queen. We may not have been able to one-shot her after all. It's not going to stop me from trying. Got him with the slow Everfrost. And he's a goner. Everfrost is so much faster and easier to land in your Q as well. It's basically impossible to dodge. It shoots out so quick. If you've already slowed them with your E, there's no way they're dodging the center cone. RR is doing a thousand true damage to champs. That's nice. <laughs> That's over half of people's HP right now if they didn't build any HP items. Big 
Big fight going on over here. Got the knockup. Can't run her down. She's moving giga fast for some reason. Once my R is up, I could probably kill this Senna, but holy crap, she does so much damage and she infinite slows off her Q to where we're not gonna be able to get away. Guess it's time to do Baron. I'll go ahead and R it. Boom, that's another stack. We're at plus 15. Our R is now giving us, guys, no joke, 2,400 health. Ooh, we really close to 5k HP right now. We can kill Rengar without our R super, super easily. Very spicy. Yeah, he might come for these since he just pushed wave. No, he's still just going to go with the wave. He must be tilt pushing right now. He's just trying to find value. He's YOLOing it. I'm faster than you are, buddy. Yeah, you can't escape Daddy Cho'Gath with Predator. I almost got the knockup. Lux can have blue buff. I don't really need it. It is what it is. She's going to run out of mana before I do. Is Wait, is Bran trying to steal this from me? I think he is. He's literally just... Are you guys seeing this? I, I don't I don't get it. I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job ganking this game and being a team player. It's, it's, it's weird to me that both of my bot laners are intently trying to steal camps from me. Got the Everfrost. Come on. I'm about to get collapsed on. I gotta back up a little bit. Bran lands the stun. Senna took a lot of damage from that, jeez. I gotta run, dude. Senna's so OP right now. I lost half my freaking health from a few Senna autos. What is going on? Riot's going to have to drop a hotfix on that champion because she is disgusting right now. Boom. The outplays, I know. Big outplays. We can just wait for our R to come up every time before we kill someone. 5,000 health. Boom. How did Vex even get over there? I do not know. She ended up running right into my jaws. Very kind of her. Now Senna's here. Good God, I gotta run, dude. It's a support champion. <gasps> oh no, it's a support champ against a Giga Fed Cho, and I unironically have to run. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Brand. I'm gonna have to save my smite for this, I think. Yeah. Oh, I have my R for dragon. Don't take it too fast, Darius. No. Boom. Darius does bonus damage against monsters. He got a jungle buff uh, like at the end of season 11. So he can clear stuff pretty quick. We're getting nearly 3,000 bonus HP off of R right now. All Predator for this. Senna needs to pay. Yeah, they, can, they apparently can't be CC'd with that on. Persist. Incoming damage. Didn't I ever frost her there? Why didn't she get snared? Safeguarded. It says it reduces incoming damage. It doesn't say it just stops all CCs like the hand of God there, does it? If it does, it, I didn't see it. Got the knock up into silence. Could have exhausted him to help Darius out. But Darius should have it from here. Boom. The outplays. Now we're at 19 stacks, 3,040 HP. I'm coming for you, Zai. I just need one blue smite into Everfrost. Down she goes. Predator's about to be up. We can get this Senna here shortly. She's so fed, but she's not winning because we're really fed and just killing her team faster than she can kill ours. <laughs> As it should be because she's a support champion.
Hey, Rengar, see you, buddy. I already know. He's trying to get my Jinx. I'm going to block him from doing so. He's going to watch me take his Krugs like a chump. I mean, where else could he be? You know, I didn't spend my gold. I'm sitting on like, full build right now. We should be full build. We're level 18 when the bot lanes are level 14. <laughs> We're actually the most fed person in this game as AP Cho'Gath jungle. Alrighty, let's finish our build. We'll go for uh, Force of Nature. And I think we can actually end up selling our boots as well for uh, AP movement speed item, which should be... What's it called? This one. Cosmic. Yeah, Cosmic is 5% movement speed. And then once you're in combat, it gives up to 15% more. That would be a great item to have. We'll go take that here in a second. Once we get up to two, around 2,500, I'll sell my boots and get that. 6K HP Cho'Gath in 30 minutes. Predator time. Run, Rengar, run. <laughs> Look how fast he... I hit him with one auto and it said I could kill him with my R. Our R is doing 1,200 damage right now. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Literally, I I was instinctually trying to hit him with all three of my E auto slows. It's It actually said I could kill him after just one. Darius is tanking, so we're able to do full damage. Whoever is tanking, Baron only does half damage output. We smite it at 827. Pretty clean. Oh, wait. I didn't hit her with the cone. Oh, I can't fight both of them under turret. I could have dove the Senna, a few autos into R. But I, I'm going to get double snared by these guys. Senna just killed Darius like it was nothing. And he's tanky, dude. Look at his build. Double HP items, Merc Treads, plus armor. She killed him like he was full squishy, like crit Darius or something. Look at her items, too. You know, I guess she has four items to be full build, actually. Damn. Sen is so OP right now, guys. You should abuse that while you can. Very, very OP. It's predator time. Blue smite. And I actually couldn't get to him. I am faster though because of my dead mans and whatnot. He's just getting away though. Die! I'm pretty quick moving 460. They shouldn't be able to keep up with me. She healed for the speed up! <laughs> Vex R. Let's go. That's freaking hilarious. Whenever you're chasing someone or you're about to fight, you always need to check their items to make sure it makes sense. Just like if. Well, I don't want to use that example, but yeah. I always check their items to make sure it makes sense. Well, I guess I could. Like if you're gonna go out and buy a graphics card, they're selling selling like a 3080 Ti for $500, you're probably gonna get mugged type of thing. Like you need to make sure before you go in for a fight that you can at least catch them or kill them if you get to them and they're not just 10 items ahead of you. We're gonna slower, silence, knock up. R, she's a goner. Doing 1300 damage now, true damage too. So over half their HP and just one stroke of my massive chomp. I feel like if I don't team fight, my team will just lose though because of the Senna. There's no way for us to match her, as sad as that sounds. I'll do a little bit of chasing. I wouldn't mind getting more R stacks. We could, in theory, lose this game though because Senna infinitely scales with her mist. So if I only play for kind of kills like I'm doing and dragons then got the knock up wait he actually did that what that's so lame wait where do you think he went off that 
Hey, buddy. Stop running from me. <laughs> Rengar, please. I just want to R. No, I can't find him now. That sucks. Yeah, this game's actually losable. <laughs> we have Dragon Soul, and their team just won four versus four. Well, I guess four versus three, because Rengar killed Lux, and then my team fought three versus four. Still. I really wish my Predator was up. Boom. R is doing almost 1300 true damage. Oh, it's because our potion ended. If we bought more AP, our R would be doing more damage. Your R does scale off of HP and AP, but the AP gives you a little bit more, I think. With the, with the way to rob on stacks on it. That was a free kill, Lux. I had her slowed in everything. Gonna go ahead and exhaust the Rengar. He still gets the kill. We'll predator him down and arm. Boom. <laughs> so freaking strong. It's so balanced, guys. There's nothing OP about this. This definitely doesn't need to be nerfed. Nothing like that. Definitely shouldn't play this build. Definitely shouldn't. It's not very fun at all. <laughs> this predator R. Amazing outplay potential. Yes, yeah, so, oh, it, so it does root. Interesting. All right, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this full AP Cho'Gath jungle commentary guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had a nice little lead at 52,000 damage. Looking at damage taken. We were the second highest in the game behind Rengar. That is a little surprising, though I do assume if you combine our self-mitigated damage, then we took quite a bit more than Rengar because our self-mitigated is pretty much tied with Mord and Rengar had, so we had 54,000 self-mitigated, Rengar had 21,000. So if you took a look at damage taken, you add uh, like 50,000 to mine, 20,000 to his, and then I have like double his damage, well, like 30 40 percent more damage taken than him so all in all we did the most damage took the most damage i'm pretty happy with that looking at ruins predator did 1300 damage not that much but that's not what the ruins for it's more for the utility cheap shot did 1675 maxed out eyeball collection ultimate hunter transcendence refunded 22 seconds it sounds like absolutely nothing but i know the ruins good and then we had water water activated for five minutes and a half all in all ap cho'gath jungle is pretty gosh darn good and has amazing carry potential just try to avoid crazy one versus ones versus conquer lethal tempo junglers before you level six things like kha'zix lee sin and uh, warwick